The first few years of the 21st century. Hum, hum, summertime. Oh, we'll have some BBQ. I love it. I love it. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I know. But calm down, or you'll get burned. It's okay. I will grill the meat with you. Thank you, but I can do it myself. I will ask your mom to play badminton with you. Oh my God! I love playing badminton. Honey, can you come here and play badminton with Eily for a while? Yeah, I'm in the mood for that now. Here you go, Eily. Ha ha ha! I'm enjoying it. Seeing my family happy like this—it's the kind of Sunday I love. In the afternoon. Hey, honey, should we bring Eily to the park today? Yeah, it's been a while. I love walking in the park with my family. Eily, would you like to go? Yes, yes, I would love to. I want to feed those pigeons in the park. Okay, wonderful. At the park. Here you go. Enjoy your meal, pigeons. Look at her. She looks so happy. Yeah, that's right. Of course, I am happy. Excuse me, would you like to buy some hot dog or a can of soda? Hum, Eily, would you like some? Yeah, I would love a can of grape soda. How about you? One hot dog for me, please. Okay, then one grape soda and two hot dogs, please. Okay, please wait for just two minutes. Here you go. <coughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. One day at Mr. Bag's house, darling, I'm pregnant. What? Are you sure? Yeah, I've checked. So that means I'm going to have a sibling. That's right, Eily. Wow, I think I will love my little sibling. Ah, Eily, that is so sweet. You are a nice daughter and sister, Eily. Nine months and ten days after that, at the hospital. Congratulations! <coughs> Your baby boy is completely healthy. Thank you, doctor, for taking good care of me and my son. Thank you for taking care of my mom. You did well. It's okay. That's my duty. Here, hold your baby. Come to mommy. Take your rest and call me if you need. Now, excuse me. Okay, okay doctor. doctor. He looks so cute. And smart too. What a nice compliment, Eily. Thank you, dad. And I have a name for him already. What, What is, is that? that? Samuel Bag, and we can call him just Sam at home. Hum, sounds nice, sweetie. But why Sam? The meaning of the name Sam is something related to God. Oh, how meaningful! Yeah, we will name him Sam. Yay! My brother is Sam. Mom, let me hold him. Okay, but be careful holding him. Yeah, I know, my cute little brother. Six years later, sister, do you want to play this game with me? Sure. What is that? It's called Zombie Stories, a game in Roblox. Sounds like a shooting game, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me join. Yay! Then come with me to my room. Okay. Wow, this game is so interesting. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew you would say so. They played that game together for two hours. Ah, wait for me, Eily. I need to do something. I'll be right back. Okay, Sam. Hmm. I'm wondering what he's going to do. Eily, come down here. I need help. Oh no! What happened to him? Surprise! Oh my God! What's going on? Ah,、uh, I remembered. It's my birthday, right? Oh dear! Our girl forgot her own birthday. Happy birthday to you, Eily. Thank you, Sam. And you know what? Sam is the one who secretly set this party up for you. This is very wonderful. I love it, Sam. Make your wish, Eily. Okay. Done. What did you wish for? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I will keep it as my own secret. Very well. I will respect that. Now shall we enjoy birthday cake? Good, Good idea. idea. So, so delicious. delicious. On a random Saturday. Sam, you know that you will go to primary school next Monday, right? Yeah, of course. So how do you feel now? I'm excited, but also a little nervous. Ha <laughs> ha! I felt the same thing as you now when I was about to go to school the first day. But don't worry, I have this for you. Huh? What do you have? Here you go. Oh my God! I love this bag so much. 
But how did you get this? I've been saving my pocket money for a few weeks. Thank you, Sister Eileen. I will respect this gift. My nice little brother, I will help you to adapt to the school environment. And if anyone dares to bully you, tell me and I will deal with them. Wow, that would be awesome. Yeah, let's enjoy our last summer days. I want to go to the swimming pool. Can you take me there? Yeah, good idea. The next Monday. Children, hurry up. The bus is here already. Yes, yes Dad. Dad. Have a good day at school, children. Especially Sam. I wish you a happy first day at school. Thank, Thank you, Mom. Mom. At school. Your class is 1B here. Get inside and make friends with people around you. See you at the cafeteria later. Okay. Bye, Ailey. Bye, Sam. Hi. My name is Sam. Nice to see you. Hi, I'm Edward. Nice to see you too. Thanks. You are so friendly. You too. Can we make friends? Great idea. Sam and Edward befriended after a conversation and they started sharing everything with each other. But one day... New kids going somewhere? Oh no, this is not good. To the cafeteria. But do we know each other? Nope. I'm going to the cafeteria too, but I don't have any money. Give me yours. Why should we do that? What? Don't you know who I am? Hey, hey, please, calm down. Listen, Brother Nick, we don't have any money. We just want to get there to chit-chat. I don't think you're speaking the truth. Hey, what are you trying to do? Let him go. Fine, give me ten dollars. No, don't do that. Go tell the teacher. Shut up if you don't want to get hurt. Here. Wise decision, I will visit your class tomorrow and grab some cash from you again. Remember that. Hey, Edward, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, but you were so bold, you know. Why? He is a big bully in our school. No one dares to mess with him. There are always higher mountains. I know someone who can handle him. What do you mean? You'll see. That evening. Hey, boy. What happened? You don't look so fine. I met a bully and he messed with my friend. He even said that he would come to my class later for some money. Can you do something? Yes, I can. Absolutely. Don't worry. Tomorrow at school. Boys, remember me? Yeah. How can I forget? Good. Now where's my money? You'll have nothing from them, you mindless bully. What? Who are you? You don't need to know. Ouch! My god! I lost to a girl! That's right! And I hope you will never bully anyone ever again! Okay, okay! Did you take something from them? Yes! Then give it back before leaving here! Okay, here! Wow, you sister is amazing! I know, man! Haha, <laughs> thank you! And who is this boy? He is my friend, Edward! Hi, nice to see you! Okay, boys, I gotta go now! Call me if you need. I will help you if I can. Thank you. The relationship between those two siblings was still good until Eileen heard something from their parents. Hey, darling, Eileen will be in middle school next year. I think we should find a school for her from now on. Yeah, I think so too. And maybe we should just send her to an average quality school only. Why? Because sending her to a more advanced school will be very expensive. We will hardly be able to take care of Sam for the next five years. Hum, it makes sense. But it also doesn't seem fair to Eileen. We've been giving her all the best things for five years. Now it's Sam's turn. I think she would understand. Yeah, me too. She's a reasonable daughter. Even though what they said is not wrong, I still feel a bit sad. But it's okay. I will be fine. But then... Their parents constantly inadvertently created misunderstandings between the two of them. One day, Mom, the school bus is unavailable today. Can you please take us to school? I can only take one of you to school because carrying more than two people on a motorbike is illegal. Sam, come with me. It's okay, I'm fine. Please take Eileen with you. But you'll have an exam right at the beginning of today, right? Yeah. Then let's stop wasting time. Let's go. Yes, Mom. Dad, can you take me to school? Sorry, I can't. I will have an important meeting this morning. But don't worry, I will get you a cab. Yes, 
Dad. Another day. Dad, look at this. I got an A-plus score. Well done. Very well. Keep going. Thank you, Dad. How about you, Sam? I just got an A. What? Let me see. This is awesome, my smart boy. I will give you a reward. What do you want? I want $100 to buy some Robux. Is that okay? Yeah, you'll have it. How about me? Can I have some too? Sorry, Eileen, but not this time. I will give you some later. Dad. What's wrong, Sam? If Eileen doesn't have anything, then I don't need it anymore. No, you can have it. I will give her a reward later. Don't mind me, Sam. Later at Eileen's room. Sister, are you okay? What are you doing here? And why didn't you knock on the door before coming in? It was opened. Listen, I know you are unhappy right now, so here, you can have my $10. Take it back. I don't need it. Get out of my room. Now. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't take it anymore. You took everything from me. I hate you, Sam. Back to school again. Oh no, you again? What do you want? After that day, I didn't dare to bully your brother or anyone anymore. I know, but now I'm hiring you to bully my brother again. You will have some money. What? Why? Just do as I say, and here is the money. Okay, I will do it with pleasure. Good. Boy, we meet again. What do you want from me? I want to bully someone today. Stay away from me or I will. Call your sister? Ha, huh, she paid me to bully you. No, it can't be true. You're lying. Enough talking. Unfortunately for Nick that the supervisor caught him another student and he was suspended from school. But he also confessed who was the mastermind before receiving his punishment at Mr. Bag's house. I'm home. Holding right there, Eileen. Do you want to tell us anything? No. You're so spoiled. How dare you hire someone to bully your own brother? That stupid guy. He sold me out. I can't hide it anymore, then fine. That's right. I did that. You, why did you do that? You want to know why? Because you favor Sam over me. What? what? Aren't you going to send me to an average quality school so you can take better care of Sam? Then after that, both of you refused to take me to school. Didn't you know that I also had an important exam that day? And Dad, you gave him a reward when he had an A, but you gave me nothing when I got an A-plus score. Enough! Go to your room, we don't want to see you for the rest of the day. And I don't want to see you for the rest of my life. Hey, how dare you? Sister, I... Don't follow me. That night. Eileen, I bought you some food. Wake up. Oh no, she is gone. Mom, Dad, Eileen is gone. What? what? I guess she left the house. We need to go find her. Oh, oh no. no. Outside the street. I hate my present family. I want my family to go back to those days we haven't had Sam yet. Here she is. Huh, Sam? Mom? Dad? How did you find me? We're sorry, Eileen. We didn't treat you the right way. Luckily, we still found you. Otherwise, we will regret it forever. From now on, we will treat you both equally. Mom, Dad, I'm sorry too. It's okay. Luckily, Sam found out you weren't in your room. Sam, I'm sorry for being jealous of you. Would you please forgive me? Yes, I understand. Maybe I would do the same thing if I were you. I love you, sister. I love you too. Sam and Eileen have reconciled and the Bag family is happy again. The end. I heard that she has a boyfriend. He gave her expensive gifts and she was stupid for not realizing it. But the most annoying thing is that I don't know who her boyfriend is. Oh, babe. Oh, haha. Ha. Of course. I don't mind that anyway. Here is it, again. Okay, see you later. Who is that, sis? Oh, he is my boyfriend, like what I told you. But I've never seen his face. I'm really worried about you, Lyara. About what? You know, lately you've been hanging out with your boyfriend. What about me? I'm your sister. Ah, uh, don't be like that. I promise I'll buy you delicious food. I don't want that anymore. I want your boyfriend. But if he was just a rich old man, I would spread this news to the whole company. Haha. <laughs> You're 23 years old, 
You're so pretty, you'll definitely have a boyfriend soon. No, I just want you. Ah, uh, don't worry, I'll go home soon. But... Yes, I'm done, wait for me. About two minutes, hee <laughs> hee. Hey, can I see him? I mean, just a little bit. Oh, of course, why not? If that's what you want then go for it. Cool, I mean yes. Three minutes later. I wonder what he looks like. Ah, here he is. What the, that car? Lyara. Babe. What the hell, he's not old at all. He's even very young and handsome. Ah, uh, I told you you don't need to buy flowers. But you really like them, don't you? Haha, -ha. okay okay, I really like them. See, I always want to see your happy face. Oh hey, um, nice to meet you, I'm her sister. Hmm? She is my little sister, her name is Caddy. I can see that. I love my sister so much, it's great that she introduced me to you today. She's so mean, she already has a boyfriend and hasn't said a word to me. Okay? Haha, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I haven't told you it's because I've only been dating him for a week. Oh my, you're so cruel, Lyara. You two don't look alike. Oh, um, we're not actually sisters. I am a child adopted by her mother. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, you? No, you don't need to say sorry. We're still good sisters, right? Yes, yes. So nice to meet you. We have to go now. But wait. Don't worry. I will see you later, okay? I want to go with you. You know, kids should stay at home. Don't worry about your sister. I'll bring her home soon. But... Impossible. He didn't even look at me. Obviously, I'm prettier than her. Damn it. I want this man too. I have to tell mom. Are you a little tough on her? I don't think so. Furthermore, I have no sympathy for her. Why? There's something very strange in the way she looks at me. Maybe you shouldn't think too much about it. She's still young. Well, okay, if you say so. 30 minutes later. Mom, mom. What is that? Have you known anything yet? What do you mean? Lyara has a boyfriend. Oh, so? If you want a boyfriend too, just go find a man. No, it's not normal like what you think. He's very rich. What? Are you sure? Yes. At first I thought it was a rich old man, but not at all. He's young and extremely handsome. He even has a luxury car and buys her expensive gifts. I want him too. Then find a way to get him back. You're so pretty, he must have noticed. But he's not. He didn't even look at me once. Huh? That's weird. See? No, no. I want him so bad. If Caddy marries that guy, she will definitely become rich and no longer need to work. Leora is not my daughter. If she got rich, she would definitely leave. And I didn't get a dime. Okay, I will help you. Really, Mom? Yes. But remember to thank me afterwards. I want to buy more things. Don't worry, Mom. I promise to buy you anything if you help me. Deal. Although Caddy has used every means to seduce Samuel, for him Lyara is the only one who attracts him. Sometime later. Mom, Caddy, I brought him to my house today to announce one thing. Ugh, no way. Eh, sure. What is that? I proposed to her. I want to tell you about our wedding. W what? We have been in love for a long time, and now I want to marry her. But this is so sudden. We were not prepared. I get it. Please feel free to organize the wedding party, I will join. What, mom? Does that mean you agree? Yes, you are my daughter, I should congratulate you, right? Oh, mom. Thank you so much, ma'am. I will definitely love her until the end of my life and won't let you down. Thank you, boy. So if you don't mind we'll leave first, Lyara needs to try on the wedding dress. Just relax, I don't mind it. Thank you, mom. What the hell, mom? Why do you endorse them? What about me? Calm down, Caddy. Apparently they came here to confirm, not ask. Even if I refuse, that guy will still marry Liara. You know he's a very serious person with his decision. Ugh, but I don't want it. Hoo hoo hoo. You have to do something, mom. I don't care. Shh. I have one last idea. If you can't do it, you'll fail. Wanna hear? 
Of course. What's that? That is. Later that night. I'll definitely do what she says. But how do I not get suspicious? Caddy? Oh, sis? What's wrong? You look so nervous. And nothing. I'm just thinking. Really? Wanna talk? No. I... Wait. Maybe this is the best time. I mean... Yes. I want to talk with you, sis. Aw, oh, come on. Come here. I'm feeling sad because you're about to leave. Haha. -ha. Don't be silly, Caddy. No matter who I marry and wherever I am, I will always be by your side. You can visit me if you want. It's not like what you think, sis. A few days ago Samuel told me that you kept appearing in front of him, and you're trying to flirt with him. Oh shit, did he tell her about it? Sis, I... I didn't mean that. I mean I... Ah, don't worry, I understand you didn't want me to leave that's why you did it, right? She is so stupid. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> yes, you're right. I will miss you so, so much. I feel like no guy in the world deserves you. Haha. <laughs> Come on, Caddy. Samuel is a good guy. I know that. That's the reason why I want him so bad. But I know he will bring you happiness. So I just let you go. Thank you, Caddy. You always treat me well. You're welcome, sis. Anyway... I have made a small gift for you and him. Oh my god, they're so cute, Caddy. I know, right? But remember to keep it in your wedding room. Don't open it early. Ah, uh, I will do that, Caddy. Thank you so much. Hee <laughs> hee. At the wedding day. I'm so nervous. Even though I know that everything will be fine, but... Honey, are you done? Mom? Oh my god. Look at you. You look so beautiful. Ah, thanks mom. You look beautiful, too. Oh hi, I know that, honey. Ten more minutes until you start walking down the aisle, right? Let me help you fix your dress. Oh, you don't have to, mom. Everything is ready. Wow, really? Everything is so well prepared. Samuel has already prepared this wedding. You're right, mom. Actually, I could help him with some of the expenses, but he didn't agree. He said he wanted to get the best for me so he prepared them all. Damn it. Now I understand why Caddy wants him too. He's so rich and handsome. Looks like you chose a good man. Yeah, you could say that. I wonder if Caddy is done. Luckily, no one is here. I know Samuel doesn't trust me and definitely won't let me bring anything suspicious here. But Lyara can, and she's so stupid. Here he is. Someone said that the bedroom has a problem. I need to take a look and call someone to fix it. I have to make sure that Lyara doesn't lose sleep over this. Hey! What the hell? Yes. What the f*** is wrong with you? Ugh. What did she spray on my face? I finally made this plan. Don't worry, boy. I will take care of you. It's been more than 10 minutes. Why haven't I seen him yet? Pam? Where is your man? It's been over 10 minutes. I don't know. He should have appeared by now. Or is he getting dressed up or doing something else? I will go and find him. Wait, I think you should wait a little longer. Maybe he's going to the toilet. Anyway, he was only 5 minutes late. <sighs> okay, I think I'll wait for him. Yeah. You must do that. If he hadn't come yet, our plan would have been successful. 20 minutes later. I can't wait anymore. I need to find him. I will go with you. There's no way a man could keep his bride waiting for him for so long. Thanks, Mom. I just hope nothing bad happens. I hope so, dear. I will call more people to come. The more people see, the more successful Caddy will be. Our bedroom? But why is it open? Maybe he's here. What the? Honey. I called more people to find Samuel. Oh my god. Oh, sis? Mom? I am possible. I can't believe you've done this to me. No, sis. Please listen to me. Oh no, no. Get out. Get out. There's nothing here for you to see. After that incident, the wedding was immediately postponed.
Since Samuel is a famous CEO, this incident quickly became the hottest news online. Rumors spread more and more. I was bothered by reporters all day. Moreover, too many people have seen this. I can't stay here anymore. Liara. Mom, I'm not in the mood right now, so. I'm so, so sorry. I didn't expect Cuddy to do such a horrible thing. She ruined your whole wedding. It's enough, Mom. To this day, I still haven't heard any explanation from Samuel or Caddy. I'm leaving. These rumors are too troublesome for me. But what about me? I will miss you so much, my dear. Mom, thank you for worrying about me. But I really can't stay here anymore. Then stay in touch with me, okay? I will always be here and protect you. Oh, Mom, thank you so much. After all, only you care about me. Oh my, I'm your mom, right? How can I not worry about you? And here. What? And no, mom, I... Just take it, I really can't do more for you. Life abroad is definitely going to be hard. But I still hope you can live comfortably there. Mom, T, thank you so much. You're welcome, Liara. Just keep in touch with me, okay? Damn it! Paparazzi suddenly increased. I can't go see Liara. Elias! Yes, sir. Why can't I connect to Lyara yet? Has anyone changed her phone number? We tried contacting her, but to no avail. Maybe someone intentionally interfered with the signal. This is absurd. They're trying to stop me from seeing her. And Sir Dot, what about that girl? What do you mean? She's been making a fuss since that day until now. We have to do something before she messes up. Damn it. She's the one who ruined my wedding and spread this rumor. Sue her and find a way to put her in jail. But. I don't like the word but. If you sue her now, you will be at a disadvantage because you have no proof. You say you are drugged, I believe you, but others are not. Be sober and make a condition with her. What? Are you lost your mind? What kind of conditions do you think she will make? Maybe she needs your money. Just give it to her. I'll see her later. Go find Lyara instead. I heard that she's already gone. I'm not in the mood to think about anything else. Yes, sir. <sighs> While Samuel was dealing with the rumor, Lyara was in a place far away from the city. She tries to forget about the horrible thing that happened to her until... <coughs> What's wrong with me? Lately, I've been vomiting constantly. No way. It can't be. Fifteen minutes later. Oh, shoot. I'm pregnant. Surely this child belongs to Samuel. But, no, no. I don't want to meet him anymore. I will call mom. Mom, he still refuses to marry me. What do I do now? Once this rumor subsides, he'll definitely sue us. Keep your voice down, I'm thinking. Shh. It's Liara. Ugh, so what? If we take advantage of her, maybe she'll actually be of some help. Oh. Hello. Mom, how are you? Oh, I'm still good, honey. What's up? I have an emergency. What? What happened? But can I ask first? Of course, go ahead. Samuel and Caddy, are they married? Are they? They got married. Samuel didn't want to be bothered by rumors so he didn't have a big wedding. Okay, okay. I can see that. So, what's wrong? Mom, I'm pregnant. What? what? Shh. Quiet. Shit. Yes, yes. I'm shocked just like you. But I'm sure this is Samuel's child. He's the only one I sleep with. What do I do now? It's not good. If Samuel finds out about this, he will definitely abandon me. This is so sudden. Think. Just give birth to the baby. I will help you. Wah. Wow. I'll take care of the kids with you, okay? Oh my god, mom. I don't know what else to say. It's the child of the man I once loved. Even though we broke up, I don't want to leave his baby. Because the baby is also my child. Yes, don't worry, dear. I'll live with you until you give birth, okay? Okay, mom. I love you so much. What the hell, mom? What if Samuel found out about this? Just let her give birth to the baby and you. You will become a mother. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, damn it. Will you steal that kid? We have no other choice. 
Plus, if you tell him you're pregnant, he won't suspect you anymore. Why, you're right. And that will be the reason he has to marry you? Because you have his baby. If he doesn't want to get into worse rumors, then he has to. Oh my god, you're so clever, mom. But wait, one more problems. What if she wakes up and doesn't see her baby? Don't worry, money makes everything. Huh? Here, trust me. I can do that. Hurry up and tell him you're pregnant. I'll take care of the rest. Okay, mom. Sometime later. Babe, I miss you so much. Shut up. I have nothing to say to you. You and I are nothing. Let's go straight to the point. Ugh. Okay, I'm pregnant. Pfft. Ha ha ha. Oh my god, you're crazy. You pregnant? You mean with me? How the f***? I know you don't believe me, but you're the only one I sleep with. Do not deny anymore. This is your child. Ha! Huh. Are you threatening me? Where is the evidence? Besides, I'm pretty sure I just slept and didn't do anything that day. If you don't believe me, after this baby is born I will do a DNA test. Is she that confident? Wait! We will see. I'm not here to ask you to marry me. But after confirming this child of yours, you must marry me. If that's true, I'll raise the child. But you, never. You can't do that forever, Samuel. The baby needs a mother. Get out. Take care of yourself. I'm not free. Oh my god, this is so good. Thanks, I will do that. Sir. She said she was pregnant. She is so confident that she dares to go for a DNA test. Hmm. I will investigate this further. I just want Lyara, only her. There are other people trying to bring you down with these malicious rumors. If you tell her to get an abortion, she'll definitely make a fuss. Whether it's real or fake, we better wait. I contacted Lyara, but she didn't reply. I try so hard, but... Damn it! After all, what the hell is going on? <sighs> After receiving Samuel's credit card, Caddy spends lavishly on the excuse of taking care of her pregnancy. Samuel was so busy finding Lyara that he didn't realize Caddy was lying. Although he still can't find Lyara for the next few months. Eight months later. It hurts so bad I can't stand it. Where's your family? Has anyone come with you? And mom. My mom. We haven't seen her yet. You should go to the emergency room first. But what if she can't find me? I, I want to. Arg. You are about to give birth. Let's go. Can't wait any longer. I need to be very careful. Two hours later. Oh, they are so cute. Twin bows. Because the mother was so tired, she fell asleep. Doctor. Huh? Who are you? This room can only be accessed by authorized personnel. I want to ask for your help. We can talk outside. She is so weird. I want this baby and you will help me for that. What the? Are you crazy? This is not a market. I know. What the heck? Here's 10 million dollars. W8. I'll take a baby out of here and you keep quiet. This 10 million is yours. But, but. Come on, 10 million dollars isn't that easy. You just go in there and tell her that one child left has unfortunately passed. Away. Those are some unfortunate things. I need to hurry up. This is illegal. As long as you don't tell anyone, no one will know. And we keep each other's secrets, okay? She's not joking. Quickly. This opportunity doesn't come twice. No. I can't. Twenty million dollars. Is that clear? You. Thirty minutes later. Ah, my mother is still not here. Is she busy? <sighs> Maybe. Doctor, are you there? I want to see my baby. Liara, you're awake. Yes, thank you so much for helping me. And no. No. You don't have to say that. I. Actually. What? What's wrong? Don't tell me. My babies? What's wrong with them? I'm so sorry. Liara. One of them was. Don't tell me that. There's no way. Please. That's the truth. Liara. There is no greater pain than the pain of a mother losing her child. During that time, Liara was really having a terrible time. My mom doesn't answer my phone anymore. What's happening? 
When I needed her the most, where was she? I am coming. Lyara, today is the due date to pay the rent. Do you remember? Oh my god, I almost forgot about this. I'm so sorry, ma'am, I forgot about this. I'm on leave to take care of my kids, so I don't have time to go to work. Tonight, we'll try contacting my family again to ask about the amount. Hum, okay, I will waiting for you. Thank you so much. I need to find my mother. I will ask her to borrow money. I know I can't let her give me the money forever. Don't cry, Alex. I'm here with you. I'm sure your grandma is busy with something. Let's go see her together. That night. Here we are. It's been a long time since I've returned to my home. I hope Samuel doesn't know I'm here. Yes. Oh, oh, who are you? I'm the one who should ask that question, lady. Who are you and why are you here at this late hour? T, this is my house. I mean my mom and my sister. Oh, I get it. Are they really your family? Did they move without telling you? What? I don't know that. Yeah, I can see that. I can only tell you I already bought this house. They moved out one year ago. Impossible. Yet my mother never told me about this. Do you know where they moved? I don't know, but they keep talking about moving to a bigger house. Oh my god, I, I just can't. Hey, watch out. Oh shit, this is so dangerous. Let her stay at my house for one night. Meanwhile, at the hospital. I can't help but follow, I need to make this clear. During the time I pretended to be pregnant, he didn't even visit me once. Ha, huh, but that's a good thing. He'll never know this kid isn't mine. If I find out you lied, then you better face jail. You can't say that to your wife. I never married her. Don't talk nonsense. Ugh, you will soon. Done? Yes. I am possible. This baby is really my child. No way. See? I'm not lying. You are the one who tried to abandon your biological son. We know you're cold, but we didn't expect you to be so heartless. Hick mom. What do I do now? Hoo-hoo. If he abandons me and my baby, I'm afraid I won't be able to live. No, no. Don't say that, my poor little girl. The one who wants to leave is him, not you. You went through a tough pregnancy. He didn't visit once, but him? Hey, wait. Where are you going? You can't leave like that. The boss told me he made his decision. What do you mean? One is that you give the baby to him. He still receives and takes care of his son. Second, you will live in his house as the child's mother, but not married. What? I gave birth to him, but he still won't accept me. What nonsense is that? Don't mess around. You know you don't have many options. One is to leave the children. The other is to never get married. Damn it. He might really abandon this child. If that's true, I'll lose everything. We even sold our whole house to pay for that doctor. So, if you don't say anything, he will make his own decision. Second one, I will live at his house. Okay, come with me. After that, Caddy and her mother smoothly moved into the Samuel's mansion. Even so, Samuel hardly ever came home and never met his son. Ah, W, where am I? Alex, oh my god, here you are. Don't cry, don't cry. I'm here with you. You're awake. Ah, uh, yes. I'm so sorry. I didn't expect that I would faint in front of your door like that. It's okay. I can see that you're exhausted. Do you need any help? Oh no, no. Thank you so much. I'll leave as soon as I can. I don't want to bother you. You're a single mom, right? This is really difficult. I. He's right. Don't burden yourself with all the hard work. You can share it. But I have no one else. My mother also left me. I have a small restaurant far from here, you can work there. Wait, what? I will pay you so that you have capital to raise your children. Wait, this is so sudden. Don't you like that idea? I mean, we just met you for the first time. Why are you so nice to me? Because my mom is also a single mom. I understand how you feel. Oh, I'm so sorry. You don't need to. By the way, my name is Jason. Uh... And I'm Lyara. Nice to meet you, Lyara. What about your son? Oh, 
His name is Alex. Nice to meet you, Alex. Ha ha. Thank you. Time goes by. Soon six years have passed. Lyara has a stable job to take care of Alex, and Samuel is still immersed in busy work to forget reality. There will be a festival in the city today. While waiting for my mother to come back, I will finish this picture. Alex, I'm home. Mom. I miss you so much, Mom. Ah, me too, Alex. So are you ready to go to the festival with me? Yay, I'm all ready. Ha ha, great, then let's go. Okay. Elias, where is my mom? She went out with her friends. What about dad? He is busy working at the company. No one went to the festival with me, right? I don't understand why his mother doesn't take care of him. Boss. Of course, but after all, he's still their child. I will go with you, Adam. What? Are you sure about that? I don't want you to be scolded by my mother. No, she will not do that. Really? She scolded me a lot. Then you just need to talk about this with your dad. He really cares about you. No, he's not. If he cared about me, he would be with me by now. I'm lonely in this house. Don't say that, Adam. You still have me. Thank you, Elias. At least you don't ignore me like mom and dad. Poor child. So let's go. I want to see fireworks. As you wish. At the festival? Mom, mom, hurry up. They're about to set off fireworks. Slow down, Alex. Too crowded. Don't run first. Huh? What are you saying? Mom, I can't hear you. Alex, Alex, where are you? Wow, this is my first time attending a big festival like this. Of course, because you were too young to attend it before. Rather, I was not taken away by my parents. They really are heartless. A five-year-old kid saying this is heartbreaking. Anyway, I'll go explore a bit. Yay! Wait! Adam! Damn it! Where is he? He just got off the car for a few seconds. Send more people here. Go and find Adam. I lost him at the festival. Wow, too many people. I love big festivals like this. But wait. Oh no, my mom. Mom, I'm lost. It's not good. I lost Elias. It's too crowded here and I'm short. I can't see anything. Ouch. Hey, so sorry. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. I... Wait, you look so familiar. No way, you look so... No, no, I mean we... We look like each other. Impossible. We look like twins. Yeah, I can't believe that there is someone like me in this world. Do you want to come with me? I'm lost, but Elias will surely find me soon. Oh my, me too. I'm lost too. I want to go with you, but my mother will be worried. Well, then find a place to sit and talk, okay? Great idea. My name is Alex. I'm Adam. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Do you have any siblings? I mean, we can become best friends. I don't have any brothers or friends, so I'm pretty lonely. Aw, don't be sad. I will be your friend, best friend. I feel like we are not only the same, but we feel like we are very close. Same. Please come to my house often after this festival, okay? Hmm, I will ask my mom about this. Why should you ask your mother? Why not? If I don't tell my mom where I'm going, she'll be very worried about me. Worry? Did your mother do that? Huh, why are you questioning that? My mother worries that I will starve or get hurt. It sounds so strange to me, because my mother never did that to me. Even my dad. Your dad? You have a dad? Wait, you mean? Yes, I have only my mom. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. My mom loves me so much that I think just having her is enough. Wow, I admire you so much. Even though I have both mom and dad, they don't pay attention to me. 
I attended this festival today with my bodyguard instead of my parents. Oh, ah, uh, I just had a bold idea. What is that? Do you want us to switch families? What, are you sure about that? Yeah, my mother is very kind. I'm sure she'll let you know how you feel and what you want. But, what about you? I mean my parents can make you sad. Don't worry about me. I'm very good at pleasing others. I'm sure they won't ignore me. Hum, okay then. Here is my phone. Wow, do you have your own phone? Yes, and I remember my phone number. Let's contact each other through this. Cool, I will do that. I'm still wondering, but... Adam, where are you? Oh, shoot. Elias is looking for me. Let me... Hey, wait. Adam, where are you? Even though we have evacuated some people, it's still too crowded here. Elias, I'm here. I'm sorry for wandering. Oh, my God. Adam, here you are. Ah. Uh, where have you been? You even changed your shirt. I fell and ripped my shirt. There was a boy who gave me his shirt. Really? Are you okay? Looks like Elias has no doubts at all. I'm okay. Look. Looks like you're right, but we should go right now. Huh? Right now? Yes, right now. Your dad is at home. Oh, okay. Then let's go. Huh? Normally he would sigh and say he doesn't want to go home. Okay. We were so similar that a life didn't even notice. Alex, here you are. Ah. Uh. Oh my god, where have you been? I told you not to run ahead of me. And mom, I... Oh no, I'll be scolded for sure. Hoo-hoo. W what? Do you know how scared I was? I thought I'd never see you again. Never do that again, okay? I didn't expect her to cry like that. I feel so bad. Mom, I'm so sorry. I promise I won't do it again next time. Ah, uh, okay, okay. You don't need to apologize. It's my fault, too. She even blamed herself. Mom, let's go home, okay? Okay, okay. Anyway, I think you must be tired. Let's go. But she was a bit stupid because she didn't realize my shirt was different. At Samuel's mansion. Wow, this house is so big. Huh? Why are you surprised by that? This is your home. Ahem. That's because after looking at other small houses out there, I noticed how big my house is. Haha, ha, okay. I get it. Phew, luckily. Damn, that party was awesome. Who is she? Caddy, I don't think you should get drunk in front of your kids. Oh. Shut up, bullhead. You're so annoying. Where is my man and where is my money? Come up to your bedroom, okay? But my mom doesn't look very well. Why are you suddenly interested in her? Mom, are you okay? Hey. Get away from me. Ah. Uh, are you okay? Yes. Boss. Lost your mind, huh? And no, I... I'm not talking with you. I'm talking with her. Oh. Oh, come on, babe. I miss you so, so much. Don't be mad at me, please. From now on, I will cut your spending. You spend too much. What the hell? No way. You didn't marry me. How dare you cut my expenses? You pushed Adam down. If this goes to court, you no longer have the right to be his mother. Don't say it's just spending cuts. Damn it. Fine. Ugh. Adam's mother is so scary. Are you okay? Uh, I I'm okay, D-Dad. Why are you constantly stuttering today? Normally, you speak fluently. I... Maybe it's because Caddy just scared him. I told you to protect Adam. I'm sorry. No, it's not his fault. I was trying to get close and comfort my mom, so... What? You really did that? Normally, he actively avoids her. Yes, today both of you. No one went to the festival with me, so I was very sad. And I feel like my mom is sad, too. I'm sorry. What? If you want, you can come to my room. Wow, really, Dad? You let me in? Of course, why not? 
Wait, wait, this is so weird. Normal Adam wouldn't talk this much with his dad. So can you carry me? Why, well, I mean, yeah, of course I can do that. Yay! Just wait, I didn't know Adam had this side. Or was it because I was too indifferent to him, because he's Caddy's child, but he is also my son? I'm sorry, Adam. Huh, why do you have to apologize? Because I only pay attention to the work and not to you. It's okay, Dad. I understand how hard you have to work for us to have this big house. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing, boss. I just get emotional when Adam thinks of you. He doesn't even blame you for neglecting him for the past five years. Okay, okay, Adam. Do you want to sleep in my room tonight? Yes, I do. Hee <laughs> hee. I will sleep with my dad. I love you, dad. I never knew what it was like to sleep next to my dad. I love you too, son. I feel so bad. How lonely must this child be in his own home? Next time I will go home earlier. At Lyara's house. There are no books here. Alex doesn't have a phone either. Is he that poor? Tada, see what I have for you. What? Chocolate cookies and milk. You like these best, right? Um, I... Oh, and don't worry. Today I will read a story to you before going to bed. This is so strange. Normally only maids give me food, not my mom. What do I do now? Thank you, mom. You're welcome. And can you give me a book? I will read it myself. What? Are you sure about that? Why, yes. What's wrong? Can you read the book yourself? Wait, Alex can't read books. Ah, uh, I, I mean yes. Ah, uh, no. I mean I learned it myself after you read the story to me. Oh my god, you're so smart, my baby. Wait. Of course I'll bring the book to you. What book do you want? Fairy tales or poetry? I'll pick up a kid's book for a bit. Fairy tales, please. Ugh, this is so embarrassing. Ah. Uh, that sounds cute. I will do that. Now eat them first. Cookies made by mom. My mother never did that to me. Huh? What's wrong, dear? Aren't you in the mood today? No, mom. I'm just thinking. Oh, what are you thinking? I'm thinking this cookie is delicious. Oh my ha ha ha. You always say it's delicious. No, I really mean it, mom. I have never eaten such a delicious cookie. Yes, wait. Are you crying? No, dust just got into my eyes. Pfft, is our bedroom dusty? I don't know that. Ha ha. Ah, come on. What are you sad about? You can tell me. I... Alex is right. His mom is so sweet. I love you, mom. Oh my. You make me feel so happy. Even though you've said this many times, I'm still happy. We'll sleep together tonight, okay? What? You always want to sleep with me, right? Haha. <laughs> Today, because you are so cute, I will sleep with you. And tomorrow, you can sleep in your own room. But I... Are you pretending to be shy, so cute? From the moment I became aware until now, I have never slept with my mom or my dad. This is a bit strange, but... Oh, okay, mom. I will sleep with you. Haha, <laughs> okay. Because of their similar appearance, Adam and Alex easily adapted to each other's place. Although there is a slight difference in personality, people around still don't recognize it. They just think that Alex and Adam are kids so their personalities can change all the time. One week later. Adam. Hey, Alex. What are you doing right now? Are you okay? I'm good. Really good. Hee <laughs> hee. Luckily. Did my parents make you sad? Huh, totally not. Wait, are you sure? Yeah, even though your mother is a bit scary and she's often not at home. But your dad is so kind. He took me to many places. He even took me to his company and introduced me to everyone. What, really? My dad never did that to me. Then next time try asking your dad to do the same. I'm sure he'll take you anywhere you want. Ugh, no thanks. So what about you? How is my mother? Is she fine? Yes, I can tell. Your mother is a bit silly, but she is the sweetest person I have ever met. Hmm, 
Don't know whether to be happy or sad because of your statement. Ha <laughs> ha, sorry for calling your mother silly. It's not funny, Adam. It's true that my mother is a bit silly, but she is very emotional. You're right. I have always dreamed of having such a mother. I also want a dad like your dad. Ha <laughs> ha, thank you. So when do we change back? I'm starting miss my mom. Oh, really? But I want to stay with her for a few more days. She cooks very well, much better than my chef. Yeah, you're right. I mean the chef here cooks really well, but I always feel like something is missing. I asked my dad to cook for me. Wait, ha ha ha, you really did that? Yeah, what's wrong? So does he cook for you? He tried, but ended up just giving me a cup of milk. Elias was holding back his laughter the whole time. Ha ha, I can imagine that scene. Hey, I have an idea. Yeah, let my dad meet your mom. Are you sure? I mean, what about your mom? Yeah, you're right. But my parents are indifferent to each other. Moreover, they are not husband and wife. Oh, I will lure my mom, I mean your mom, to the city. Do the same to my father. Cool idea. When will we meet? What about tomorrow? Yeah, I will do that. Let's go to the place where we met last time. Okay, deal. Saying and doing, that night Adam and Alex tried everything to convince their mom and dad. Mom, you really don't want to go to the city. Why? Honey, there are some things that keep me from going there. Did someone hurt you? And no, why do you think so? If no one harms you, let's go there together, okay? Do you remember the night I got lost? A friend showed up and helped me. Now I want to see him again. We talked a lot. Oh my, why didn't you tell me this sooner? How did you guys communicate with each other? I used your phone. What? Really? Why do you know my phone password? Because that password is too easy to guess. You said it is my birthday. Oh my god. You're genius, Alex. No, it's because it is too easy to guess. Wait, my birthday and Alex's are exactly the same. I've heard it's normal to have the strangers alike, but the same date of birth? Mom, do I have a brother? W, why are you asking that? Nothing, I'm just curious. I must be thinking too much. Dad, Dad. Yes, what happened, Adam? I want you to go out with me today. Huh? Elias, check my calendar. Am I busy today? You have a meeting at 3 p.m. Well, I'll be quite busy tomorrow, Adam. Oh no, I want you to meet this person because he helped me when I was lost. He took me to a safe place. Really? Really, we made an appointment to meet at p.m. tomorrow. Okay, I get it. Elias, cancel that meeting. Leave it for another day. Wait. Are you sure about that, sir? I don't say twice. Yes, sir. I get it. Yay! Thank you so much, Dad. Haha, <laughs> 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 you're welcome. What are you two having fun talking about without telling me? Lately, this kid keeps clinging to Samuel. I hate the sight of them getting close, which makes it harder for me. You didn't knock on the door. What? That kid doesn't need to knock, but I have to knock. You are comparing with your child? Really? Are you really Adam's mother? Ugh. Of of course I am his mom. But why are you only paying attention to him and not me? I am his mother. Mom, Dad, please don't argue. Shh, okay, okay. I won't argue, okay? Don't be scared. How can his voice be that soft? I don't know what you guys are saying. But where you go tomorrow, I will follow. Oh no. If that's the case, then this will be ruined. I am Adam's mother. I will go with him. I don't trust you. And mom, I just want to go with my dad on that day. Can you just wait for another day? What? Are you letting me out? Enough. You scared him. But I... Let's go, Adam. What the hell? Language. What the? Even that bodyguard dares to raise his voice at me. Impossible. Where can they go? I have to follow them. Tomorrow. It's here. Mom. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. 
So this is where the two of you met? Yes, Mom. Maybe he'll be here in a few minutes. Okay, okay. I hope he doesn't realize I'm here. Don't worry, Mom. I know you don't feel comfortable meeting strangers, but rest assured because they are nice people. Oh, okay. I get it. He seems to have changed a lot after that day. Is he growing up before his age? Hey, Adam. Alex. Wait. W, what is that? Mom, it's so nice to see you again. Just wait. Why? I know you have a lot of questions. Adam, you run too fast. Lyara? Samuel? Hey, wait. Stop. We haven't talked to each other for a long time. And it's better to stay like that now. No, I can't. I don't know why I'm meeting you here, but... She's my mom. Yeah, his mom. Oh no, what the F? Hold on, I just realized you to look. Exactly alike. Yeah. yeah. But how? Him, wait, did you to switch places? Adam? Yes. You're not Alex. I'm Alex, mom, it's me. He is Alex, and I'm Adam, haha. -ha. We're so similar that you are all fooled, right? We not only look alike, but we also have the same birthday. Damn it! Done! They are starting to notice. You pregnant? I mean that boy looks exactly like Adam. Wait, wait. Everything is so messed up. We need to talk about this right now. Why, yeah, yeah. I'm listening. It's true I'm pregnant, and Alex is your baby. What? 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 You two go sit at the other table. Adults need to talk. Okay, okay Mom. <laughs> After calming down and talking to Samuel again, Lyara figured it all out. She was shocked and almost fainted at the fact that her son was still alive. She suggested to Samuel about DNA testing with Adam, and he agreed. The result was not unexpected. Adam was the son the doctor told her he had passed away. Yeah, my daughter didn't get him, but still got a lot of money from it. I love this life so much here. Mom, it's not good. What the heck? You just made me spill a precious glass of wine. Do you know how much this wine costs? Who the F cares about it right now? We f***ed up. Wait, what? What do you mean? We don't have time. Just tell me. He knows it. What the heck? Samuel knows we lied about his kids. Somehow Alex and Adam switched places and I didn't realize it. All because they are twins so... No way, wait. Obviously I've seen him change. Holy hell. Why did you just say it now? Hurry up. Bring all the valuables here. I'm trying. Hurry up. At least this can keep us away for a while. I know. You have been arrested for fraud and extortion. Moreover, for kidnapping children. What? No way. Only she does. I don't. What the? Stop talking. Catch them. No. In the end, Caddy and her mother paid for what they did. What about Alex and Adam? Well, there is only a slight change that they will live together from now on. And the biggest change is... Phew. I just hope this wedding goes smoothly. Mom! Mom! Mom. Oh, my boys. What's wrong? We got this. For you. Oh my god. Congratulations, Congratulations on, on your wedding, wedding day. Ha ha ha. It sounds like wishing her success in her work. Ah, uh, come on, Samuel. They try the best. You look really beautiful today, Lyara. Ugh, can I go outside for a while? Yay, they are kissing. Ha ha ha. Today will be the best day for me. Same to me. And thank you for agreeing to come back to me. You're welcome, Samuel. Finally, their family is reunited. The end.